Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so... Uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising, a weekly tarot reading July 29th to August 4th, 2019. Bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we are going to jump right into it afterwards. So uh, yeah, just, just a second here. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of a uh, Sagittarius week, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you guys need to overcome here, we do have the Three of Cups, afterwards it is the, oh my god, my bottle with water, uh, afterwards it is the positive aspect of the week here, we do have the Two of Pentacles and the final one which uh, stands for the Guidance that is going to be the 10 of pentacles so a lot of pentacles it is what we do have for you guys uh and so that week is going to be mainly focused upon a uh, material aspect of the life you know but it could be related to money you know or it could be related to effort the pentacles also stand for trust which there could be some issues with throughout uh, throughout the week itself that is marked with the three of cups in a negative position here but we're gonna get into it in a minute so uh, the week itself should be rather very productive in a sense of that you are gonna have that opportunity to uh, further your thing to further your goal you know to become more successful career wise or to establish a good foundation in a relationship field as well marked by the ace of pentacles at the start of the reading so before we scrutinize it, let's go one more time, run down the cards. The first one, Ace of Pentacles, which is the topic, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenge here, that is going to be the Three of Cups. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the Two of Pentacles. And then the last one here stands for the Guidance Ten of Pentacles. All right, so Ace of Pentacles. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is a typical card where it points that with a slow progress, one has a tremendous um, potential to expand and to evolve. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles as a topic usually is involved with circumstances that, like I said, gives you that extraordinary opportunity to further your goal, to, to make your relationship more stable, to make your business more lucrative, all right? Because the uh, Ace of Pentacles stands for, for harmonious flow into relationships, it stands for a... Um, success into one business it does stand for wealth it does depend however how you define wealth all right the wealth could be family the wealth could be love the wealth could be health the wealth could be um um, uh, happiness and etc etc the point here is is that this week is gonna lay you down the prerequisites for to have a lot of content and as well um how do you say it when you are thrilled to have such circumstances all right so it's it, yeah it's gonna present you with a lot of thrill that things are finally happening okay 
or have the potential to happen. The accompanied card here is going to be the hangman. So the formation, it is a um, passive friend and uh, a, a bit peculiar kind of combo. It does, uh, it does point to a, um, how can I describe it? Uh, oh, I, it does point to a, a undertaking of yours or rather like a, um, let's say gold dream or a uh, or a endeavor of yours which uh up until now okay it was kind of like a rough uh to 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 proceed forward with uh that is for the reason being with these couple of cards is that you took completely wrong approach and now throughout this week you are to see like i said the the opportunity or rather like the new means you need in order to further your goal which is going to like i said overflow you with content it will overflow you as well with exhilaration you will have the chance to establish good harmonious flow into your relationships and to become lucrative into your business it does depend where it comes around because we can't have it all. It may take place into your career or it may take place into your relationship. You know, the Ace of Pentacles takes place only in one field, not in, in our entire life. So that being said, <clears throat> you know, whenever the circumstances start shifting and changing, this is where you need to uh, start paying attention at and take advantage of such a rising situation. So that leads us to the next card, which points to the challenges. And this is going to be the uh, Tree of Cups. That's the people, really. I mean, um, well, not only. OK, so the majority of uh, of the challenges is going to be the people getting on the same page with them because the Tree of Pentacles is about shared vision. Therefore, having shared vision with friends, with family, with with those who are partners to you in this endeavor for the most, um, may not be very well agreed with your shift of standpoint here so you can take advantage of these uh, of these new circumstances <clears throat> however as a challenging card it can and should be overcome all right and that mainly happens through i don't know how to describe it it, it, it mainly happens through it's, it's very difficult to, to describe it, more like not paying attention to the, uh, to the aggravation of the others and allowing your actions to speak for themselves, showing them that with those small progress that you are to make as uh, you know, you are contributing or you are involving yourself into this opportunity that will speak, like I said, for itself and is going to convince them that actually they may be wrong, right? That they may uh, are wrong for distrusting you or for not placing their bets on you. And uh, the other challenge here is going to be the result itself. So, uh, because of the nature of these two cards, the hangman and the three of cups, uh, the result may be a bit, it's not even delayed, okay? It may come a little bit later in time and that's not delayed by any means. It is just based on one's expectations, you know? You may expect that when you do something, magic is to happen, all right? When you f exert your first efforts into either your marriage or either into your career based on this new vision and these new circumstances, that magic is going to happen. And it will, but it's going to take a little bit more time that you are anticipating. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups. <clears throat> the formation, it is a, a passive supporters that we do have. So uh, now we see why people are, are, are such negatively uh, attended to, the, uh, to your new, uh, new position or to your new standpoint, to your uh, new performance. It is because they don't like it in the sense of that it does require from them to go a bit out of their way in order to be a part of it. OK, so <clears throat> just to give you an example of that, let's say that this thing happens into your relationship, which until this moment you had rather a rough time in. All right. So you fought with your partner and um, it's kind of like it goes nowhere and these kind of stuff. And now throughout this week, um, suddenly you change uh, a view, you change a point as well, or a circumstances happen which are allowing you, you know, to make peace in there. And you do so, and then 
what happens next is expanding on it, you know, and uh, through you expanding on it, it may not be liked by your partner because they may not be aware of where you're getting at, okay, where, where you, what exactly you want to expand and will involve them do things that they dislike. So for that reason, in order to overcome this, you know, like I said, we will best to um, leave actions to speak for themselves instead of forcing your partner, that is, if you are following this example, to, uh, to do these things with you, okay? First, it's best to do them by yourself and see uh, and show them that they actually work and that they are actually a, a, a potential. <clears throat> it's difficult to explain, really. Uh, but the, the week itself, let's say, um, is going to um, allow you to prove other people wrong. That that's the whole point. Okay, uh, with a diff uh, with a different means uh, that these people are expecting. So you catch you are catching them off guard, and now they have to rather oblige to a new code of conduct to a new rules. Speaking of, of rules, that leads us to the next card here, which stands for the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So. The Two of Pentacles, by its own accord, it does point that the week is going to give you a, a lot of things to work with, okay? A lot of circumstances to work with, and as well, a lot of changes are to happen in the situation itself. And these changes that are happening are going to be exactly the, 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 the necessary circumstances you need in order to traverse the situation into your benefit. However, in order to take advantage of these things, you need to let go of uh, established concepts. What I mean is that let's take the example here that you are fighting with your partner. Well, maybe you need to let go of the concept while you are fighting with them, all right? You need to adopt a different standpoint and or, or you completely need to um, resign about the conflict itself. Your partner may be baffled, you know, they may think, well, why he is abandoning it? Because it has no point whatsoever, because spending time and energy to lead this argument and to lead this fight deprives you from experiencing extraordinary enterprises which are coming on a daily basis in one's life. And, you know, <clears throat> what's the point of fighting when no one is actually stepping back? So do be the smart one and step back. We do have that sentence in our country. The smart one always take a step back. That's, that's the thing, I mean, because the smart one realizes that arguing and fighting with the other is going to have no prospect or it's going to have no result whatsoever. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Formation is another passive, uh, passive supporters. So uh, with the King of Pentacles, it looks like that all of those changes that are coming around, you get to decide which one you want to take advantage of and which one you want to uh, engrave or incorporate into your life, either career or relationship wise. But with the King of Pentacles, you need to know that this change or rather opportunity that comes around is going to pay you just as much as you give in in return okay so just taking on the the um the opportunity is not enough for you to benefit from and that is highly correlated with the results we talked about that the results are going to be a bit delayed according to your expectations that is because it will require a time to to kick in so you put in the effort to fuel it fuel it and then you wait the the thing to grow or rather yeah <clears throat> it's like the agriculture you know you plant the seed you sprawl them with water and then you wait the seed to grow it's, it just does the same thing but like i said it's very important to be um serious about your intentions when you are to take a advantage of these uh minor changes like i said which are happening around that they are by its own accord minor 
but they are a lot and by their quantity you are capable to completely change the course of events of your career situation or of your relationship situation. And the final card here, uh, Sagittarius, is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, which is the guidance, guys. So Ten of Pentacles usually refer to trust, usually refers as well to out of dependency kind of a situation. But that is not a personal dependence. And just to give you a, um, it could be as well, you know, but not always. So just to give you an example of it, that card may urges you to get your relationship out of dependency tendency of something. If your relationship is influenced a lot of your parents or of your partner's parents, then the guidance here is to take this influence out or to sever this influence, okay? Uh, if you're, you and a partner of yours are way too dependent in business, that I mean, you are way too dependent on a third party, it's time for you to sever that de dependency one way or another. The Ten of Pentacles also refers that this week it will be best if you kind of like spend it, spend it deprived of arguments and uh, basically try to surround yourself with people that are very warm and that are always, how can I place it, it's always pleasure for you to spend time with. The accompanied card here, it is the world, <clears throat> which uh, is... Uh, the formation, it is a, a passive supporters. So with the world card to the Ten of Pentacles, it looks like that your investments into those minor changes are going to have a huge results, guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, even if it doesn't look like it that way, these new circumstances, these new minor changes happening into uh, into your career or into your relationship are the, 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 the very beginning of the end of your troubles and of your ordeals and all that. And after the end comes around, the world always promises a, a peak of experience, you know, cultivating one's result of one's labor in a positive way, of course. And then a new beginning emerges or a new perspective emerges from there, which could be the very next step of your evolution. <clears throat> So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 29th to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.